So here's the new, one of the new MO MIG modulation sets that they just came out with. Uh, they just came out uh, about a week and a half ago. They also came out with a new red cement and blue cement. And uh, here's another, here's the shader holder that they came out with. I just bought a couple of them just to check them out. I wish I could have gotten more because they're all sold out now. But here is the sandpaper holder. This is pretty cool. The cement is, you know, it's just like their their regular stuff. It's the that's the slow dry, but this is the red and the the blue cement is just like their extra thin cement. And then they came out with this standard cement, and its dry time is a little faster than I'd want. I usually use this uh. Tamiya Extra Thin, it's more along the lines of this, just a, the dry time's a little faster. Also, they came out with this Ura set, and this is pretty cool. Let me open this up. Let me get it open up here. It comes with a little booklet. Let's take a look through it. So here's all the products that's in the set right here. And you're going to be able to make your models look a little more rusty than you could usually do with just the paints and some pigments. So here's your kind of before and after effect. So I'm believing that these paints have like maybe uh metal flakes inside and you add this uh oxidation uh chemical that's in here it's kind of like the photo etch and track uh burnishing fluid and it rusts the paint i'm thinking i haven't really i just got this so i haven't really read too much into it But here's like a tank turret, a T-34, and uh, before and after. That is just awesome. If this really works like that, that's, that's going to be awesome. Just got a couple more things in here. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty dope. Look at that. That is great. So, again, here's the before. And then, I guess, the after. It's got a better picture in the back. Let's turn it over here. Yeah, here we go. That is awesome. All right, let's get into the box. Take a little look at it. <clears throat> See, here's the bottles. And this is the powdered oxidized. So, okay, that's the, this, this powdered. I thought that was liquid. I haven't got to use this yet, so. And here's the reactor. This is the actual liquid. So, I guess this is maybe has like uh, metal flakes in it. Then you add your chemicals, type 1. The rust is, This is the rust reactor chemical. And then you have type 2 down here. And here's the the bottles. They're about the size of the uh, ultra glue bottles or the dry brush uh, bottles. So 
so I just picked those up. I got a, like I said, I really wished I would have gotten more of the modulation set because these things are awesome. Very easy to put together. They're like their first line of uh, little rack, paint racks they have, kind of like the uh, oil rusher rack. Also, he came out with uh, this new uh, Acrylics 2.0 book, and it has some pretty cool little ideas in here about, on how to use filters, your washes, and uh, effects washes. Their new dry brushing techniques. It's got some pretty cool ideas in here. I thought I was pretty up on my painting game, but I've actually read about half of this so far. And I've actually gotten some good information out of this book. It's, it's pretty good. It's got some good stuff in it. And there's the shader line. It gives you a couple tips and techniques to use but i also have noticed a lot of this ammo of mig books uh, just like ak interactive they're starting to recycle information that's already in other books i've got quite a few of their uh their books these right here are awesome. These uh, diorama uh, from AK Interactive, the FAQ books. These are really good. Uh, also got the new, uh, where is it? Ah, the new Ryefield model Panther book. Let me grab it right quick. Flip through it right quick. I mean, the Tigers, excuse me. The Ryefield model Tigers book. These guys in here that are doing these models, they are just freaking awesome. Look at that. I mean, just awesome. Look at that. They do some really cool stuff in this book right here. But I will say, I actually like the, uh, the Tacom, the Tacom Panthers guide. I like this one better. This has got some really cool ideas to use on your next panther model if you're building one i would definitely say pick up this book just to get you some ideas or just a guide you know to follow while building yours you know just kind of copy their their build and paint job but that's it guys i just figured i'd show y'all some of the new stuff out by mo mig there's not any videos out right right now. Oh, let's see. I have picked up. Let's see. These are new. Right here. Now, uh, these are some of the MIG production paint brushes. But I do have a few of the ammo. New ammo. Kalinsky uh, brushes. I haven't used them yet. But I will say, I was thinking that these were going to be the same. These MIG production brushes and the new red handled uh, MIG brushes. But it looks like the. Uh, let me see if I can get this to focus a little bit better. I want to say that the MIG brushes have a, a little bit of a sharper point to them. Well, they're about the same. I will say that they're, I think, made by the same 
company and they just slap their their name on it because look i mean it's it's almost the same it's just got like a different uh ferrule on it i guess you could say but the actual handle is identical i would say but i thought thought those were pretty cool i picked those up and here's their new dry brush uh, brushes. I got a couple of those. Also, here's their new pigment brushes. I've actually used these and they're pretty good, but it's kind of a gimmick you could take you a normal flat brush and just trim down the bristles you're basically going to get the the same of effect as you would out of these you know I, I wouldn't say there's a huge difference and also i've got a couple of their new uh decal brushes i actually like this if you're going to get any of them, I would get, you know, the number one. This is actually, I do use this a lot. I've had this for a while, so I have used this. I can can say it's, it's pretty good. And the number three decal brush. Here's the number three. I've, I, I like this one. I, I didn't pick up the number two. The number two seems to be the more expensive out of the three of the decal brushes. And, I mean, it looks just like this. It's just a little little bigger uh, tip. So, I didn't see no point in getting it, you know, spending another 15 bucks on that. But yeah, guys, that's the new ammo mig stuff i figured i'd get a video out since there's actually nothing else on the internet about the new glues and modulation sets so there you go